We're joined right now on our premier Chevrolet of Carlsbad fan hotline by energy healer Herman Petrick. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I said earlier, I wonder how he pronounces his last name. I remember there was a Rockies player named Ben Petrick in the past who pronounced it that way. And just found out from Paulie uh, Herman that Ben was actually is actually your cousin. Yeah, that's correct. Well, so so you're familiar then with the the struggles, the trials and tribulations of of baseball players and baseball fan bases, uh, Herman, certainly. Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. And if you look at uh, the dedication that the athletes put in to play at such a high level, you know, they're 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 really gifted. But a lot of it comes down to, you know, especially in baseball, timing, right? And so, you know, you can be this super stud athlete, but if your timing's just slightly off, it could really create some issues. You know, it could be the difference between a, you know, a, a win or a loss. Every so. time. And that's kind of what we've been going through uh, as a fan base here, Herman. A lot of expectations going into this season with the uh, San Diego Padres. And now you're finding – you know, with a, a massive inconsistency, you see it all the time. Ah, it feels like the vibes are off. It feels like there's something missing, and there's certain the vibes are certainly off with the fan base. I mean, it's we're we're all fans of the same team, yet we cannibalize each other on a daily basis and and point fingers. So I, I was like, man, we need to get somebody on that can explain this. Give us a couple of tips and tools for you know healing our energy a little bit. Yeah, yeah, well, definitely. So. First off, um, if you can just think about energy, think in terms of energy, because everything around us is energy, right? And so there's these energetic parasites that attach to most people that just slightly manipulate your thoughts and your emotions. Now, and I know a lot of people don't like to believe this, but there's people out there that um, can send negative energy to people or organizations. And sometimes it's, it's their intent to do that. And sometimes it's just people are upset with the performance and they start, you know, the, the word curse, you know, when you curse someone else, yes. you know, you're, anytime you have a spoken word, you're sending that energy to that person. That happens more often than not, but then there's times where people are so angry or they, they feel hard done by, by an organization or a person that they actually practice like black magic or they send spells or curses or hexes. And when I you know, briefly spoke with Paul yesterday, I really kind of tuned into the Padres organization. And it does feel to me like, there was some sort of a curse that's been directed at the organization. And I would say that's only been there for about three or four months. I can't really say where it comes from. I can just tell if something's there. Now, the proof obviously is, is in the pudding because it's easy to say, well, these guys are losing because of this, but there's so many variables. But from my standpoint, when I look at it and I see there is some negative intent sent that direction, and we talk about these athletes and that their timing's off. So let's say you know, I'm up to bat and my, I have this little mind virus. It's very, very subtle. that just throws my timing off just a little bit. That's a difference between winning and losing. So um, what I did, <clears throat> excuse me, what I did for the organization last night, um, I, I, that's when I really tuned in. I did some energy work and removed some sort of curse that's been there, like I said, for the last three or four months. So that should really help the athletes connect to their, their their true self when when they can really focus without having the that mind virus manipulate their thought that might just slow them down just a fraction of a second so herman let me um, let me that, yeah, yeah let, it does let, make sense well let me let me say i appreciate you coming on with us today i am more of a, a skeptic so i guess my question would be you can do this from wherever you're, I don't know where your location is, but you're not in Pittsburgh. You weren't with the team on the road or anything. You can remove energies remotely is what you're saying. He's very skeptical. Yeah. He, he is that yeah, black yeah. magic you were talking yeah, about. I'm, not the black the magic. Doing this I'm the most the positive person, you know, I've been doing this for over 11 years now. And my whole business model is working remote. My target market is all of the U S the UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. So, and I never leave my office to do the work. So I've been doing this remotely for a lot of years and have helped thousands of people. And yeah, there's a lot of skeptics out there and, and that's okay because everyone has their own belief system. But for the work that I do, 
it's really about, it's, it's a gift where I can connect and use the power of my intent to, to change the energies that are affecting people or organizations. So it's, you know, and, and a lot of people will say, well, it's a placebo effect or this or that. Well, the fact of the matter is I do a lot of work on small children, you know, that have that, like, say you have a two-year-old that's having nightmares every night and can't sleep and always afraid. A lot of parents will bring me in. I clear their energy. Their nightmares are gone instantly. And the kid knows nothing about me doing the energy work. So I guess for the Padre standpoint, you know, you guys have a, a solid team that just seems to be winning and losing and losing and losing and winning and losing yes, and losing. Yes, exactly right. I guess we'll... I guess we'll see over the next coming, you know, weeks if if there's a little bit of a change and see see a little more of the W's instead of the L's. You now, know, so I love this, uh, Herman, and I am a believer in energy. I am. I'm a believer in changing your energy. Uh, we are talking to Herman Petrick. He's an energy healer here on Ben and Woods. I've painted myself though into a bit of a corner because I quite a corner, quite a corner, and I'll I'll be the first to admit <laughs> it. I have said before. I actually had T-shirts made that said. Curses aren't real because, and here's why I tell you, I have often thought, you know, by just blaming a curse, we are really letting the high priced athletes off the hook for their poor performance, their uninspired performances. So I'm screwed basically is what I'm saying. Now I'm going to have to make new t-shirts that say reverse the curse. And, and maybe Herman is the one that has done that. So I guess now, I guess I ha if I believe in energy, I guess I have to believe in curses as well. I just didn't feel this whole franchise had been cursed. We've got good players, and they're just not performing. Well, you heard it from Herman. I heard you it from Herman. I know. Four months ago, there was a curse. You said you, you Herman, you said you have a gift. We're talking to Herman Petrick, an energy chamber. healer. How, yes. how did you discover it? Did you? Was there any training at all involved in you know, were there, was there mentors? How, how did you come about to, to kind of enter into this, uh, the vocation of energy healing? It came out of nowhere. Like, you know, I, I've been a professional businessman my whole life. And then about, it was about 12 years ago, something just, something just switched, you know, and, and I, I realized I had this ability to clear negative energies from people and places. And I, tested it out on you know a few friends and and then um, a bunch of people started reaching out and saying you know uh, oh I have this child or this and so I worked with some kids and and it just started it worked instantly and then all these parents started calling me so I created a website but as far as formal training there's no training for this I mean you can go to different schools or this or that but then you start to form a belief system and for me it's all everything comes from within and so for me, I try to stay away from learning aids on this type of work because I don't want to be blinded by my beliefs in this, you know, so I have to try to keep an open mind. So for me, it's just a straight up kit. There was no training. Of course, as the years progressed, you know, it's evolved and I've, you know, changed my tactics and, you know, um, started doing better work in my opinion. So, but yeah, it just came out of nowhere. I'm sold fully. <laughs> I'm fully, fully sold. I'm ready to believe you have. Uh, is there anything that we as a fan base can do, Herman? Uh, you know, as we sit down and watch the game tonight, uh, just try to think positive thoughts, I guess. Uh, keep the, the positive energy around the team. Is that is that the, the direction from you? I would say just enjoy enjoy the game. All you right. know, I, I will do fans that. are fans are fickle, you know. We are. <laughs> We are. We have so are radio hosts. One, one, Absolutely. One, one in one inning to the next. So I would say just enjoy it. You know, it's a it's a sport. And of course, it's a big money sport. And, and there's a lot of blood, sweat and tears for the fans because, you know, they're they're bleeding Padres and it's really frustrating. But they just have to remember, you know, it's they're there to enjoy the game, not get so angry because when you're getting angry and you're just you're cursing out the, the pitcher, the batter, you're you're not helping anybody you know you're just creating that that negative energy in our world which there's plenty of the negative energy without you know um us putting it on everyone around us well i, love it. I will say to uh, anyone who uh who liked what they heard from herman you can go to hermanpetrick.com and learn more uh maybe even 
get Herman to work for you on your own energies. Herman, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank and, you, man. Uh, while I remain skeptical and Woods remains a <laughs> believer. Up, I'm shut up. Sure you that get was a lot fantastic. Of here it is. There's the, here's that negative energy we're Her talking Herman, about. Herman, thank you very much. Thank you, Herman. No, no worries. Thank you, guys. <laughs>